Okay, so today we're going to be running through our F67 P1 backwash valve. Um, this is our slightly more value-based automatic backwash valve that we stock. Uh, also very decent, reliable valve, uh, just a little bit less fancy than the C1 range. We have a video explaining how to use and set that up in the corner. We're going to link that so that you can go have a look if you have maybe clicked on the wrong valve or want to compare the two. Um, you, with your valve, you'll find we have the bag of O-rings and cable, the big black O-ring sits between this backwash valve and your FRP vessel, so it will fit over this, uh, just sit in there, underneath there in that little ridge. Um, secondly, then we have three blue O-rings. We use those O-rings in your ports. Obviously, you've got your inlet, your outlet, and your backwash port. Uh, we recommend using the O-rings to ensure that you're fitting seal correctly instead of using something like thread tape. Oftentimes with, with plumber's tape or thread tape, people um, will apply too little or too much. Now either you'll have a leak or if you apply too much, sometimes we've actually seen people crack these ports or break them completely, which obviously will then wa uh, void your warranty, which we don't want. So um, ideally, if you would use the, the blue, uh, blue O-rings, it is a better option. Then as far as what's setting this in, it works very much on the same principle as the F67 C1 system. Uh, so if you have a look, we have all the same buttons, but instead of a screen, we have these little things that highlight or that, that light up. So again, we've got our lock on. The lock is just there to prevent children or people that aren't quite sure how to use the unit of playing with settings or changing anything. To deactivate the lock, we push the up and down arrow and we hold it in. Then you should hear a beep and the unit is then unlocked. So um, we can start by pushing enter and you'll see there's a little tool icon that comes up, which means we're in the settings menu. First setting is the time. The time is a 24 hour, oh goodness, 24 hour time. So we can set that to the current time that you have, wherever you are, hour and minute. Then the next setting is the backwash time. So this is generally as a default set to two o'clock in the morning. Please keep in mind if you have more than one vessel, you don't want to set all of them to two o'clock because then all of them will backwash at once, but actually only your first vessel is going to backwash. So you want to set these with the delay between them. Typically we use half an hour or an hour between vessels just to make sure that uh, that you give enough time for the one to backwash before the next one starts. Again, you push enter and you can change those settings, hour and minutes. Next in our settings is F01, this is backwash um, frequency, or not frequency, but how many times it repeats. Uh, for most users, you're gonna just leave that as a default on F00. Um, if you are more advanced, so you want the backwash to repeat a number of times, you can go to F01, F02, um, whatever the case may be, but we recommend leaving it on F00. Next is your backwash frequency. So you'll see there a D is highlighted. This means that um, there's so many days. So your backwash is gonna happen once every three days. You can change this again by pushing enter and selecting the time that you would like. Um, we recommend making this at least once every 14 days, even if you're gonna run just about no water through the system. We just wanna make sure that there is water that is backwashing and washing out any bacteria that builds up. Um, but with most people, you can be washing it every three days, every four days at the very least. Next, we have um, how long the backwash happens. So you'll see this light over here lights up. This is with arrows pointing up. This means it's a backwash duration. We can set this again as default, it's set to 10 minutes. Um, depending on the size of vessel that you have, the type of media you have, you may want to change that. But please keep in mind that you want to run it for long enough to completely backwash the unit correctly. So if you're just going to backwash it for a minute or two, um, your vessel's not going to backwash completely. So you might be saving a little bit of water, a little, a little bit of power in the short run. In the longer run, you're going to sit with something that's not going to work correctly. So we recommend rather erring on the, on the side of caution. So rather let it run a little bit longer to make sure that you get complete backwashing. Um, next, we have, you'll see there's a small icon with down arrows. That is your rinse. So again, you want to make sure that the vessel fast rinses. So this is the recompaction of your media bed. Um, and you want this to happen properly before you run any water through. So this water is still gonna run through your drain um, because if you do run the water through your system before it is completely uh, compacted, you aren't gonna get proper filtration and you're gonna be essentially running unfiltered or unpurified water through your system to your next vessel or into your house, which is not what you want. Next, we have this BO1 setting. For most people, again, you don't need to worry about that. The default setting is fine and then we are back to the time. So once you've set all of these settings correctly, you can hit the um, 
oh sorry you're going to hit this button which is like a little finger it's going to take you through to your operation so if you see that there's a uh, like a little hourglass that lights up generally this means that the system is running uh, if you want to manually bypass the timer you can push you'll see this the second button looks almost like a finger that's pointing you can push this and you'll hear it is now running through the cycle as we set it but just not on the time that we set so it's going to then back off for i think we set it for 10 minutes fast run for 10 minutes and then go back to filtration so again if you want to bypass any of these settings you can then just push this again so we'll just give it a moment so now it's busy backwashing as it indicates there you can push that again it will now go through to its rinse cycle as we've seen there it's now rinsing and if you push it again it'll go back to filtration there we go so you'll see it's in operation mode so if you have set it up um, it should operate fairly easily obviously you're going to need power for the unit to operate so if you have load shedding just ensure that um, your backwash cycles fall outside of your load shedding or you go and check in your manual backwasher to make sure that it has gone through its backwash cycles um, any other questions that you may have regarding FRP vessels media compatibility anything you are welcome to give us a call um, our office number is 021-851-0133 or you can email us at sales at definitivewater.co.za